Hey, hope you are having a great day. In this video, I want to talk about how to create a TikTok content strategy that produces viral videos consistently. So this is a question that I get a lot, especially due to the fact that TikTok is such a different platform from Instagram and Facebook. And yes, it's relatively easy to go viral, but you need to follow a structure and a framework for doing that. So let's face it, you're looking for a way to predictably scale your DTC brand. That's why you probably are watching this video. Maybe you want to diversify your uh, revenue stream or uh, you are just looking for a new way. So Facebook ads are too inconsistent and performance has drastically decreased due to iOS updates. And in my experience, uh, because I used to own an e-commerce brand and we were relying on Facebook ads as our main revenue stream and also my client's experience, even before the iOS updates, the cost the cost of advertising on Facebook just kept rising and uh, yeah, the results, the uh, return on ad spend just kept getting more inconsistent and uh, yeah, it just wasn't reasonable for us to to start scaling any, uh, any marketing campaign. So let me tell you, there is a better way and uh, brands are going viral on TikTok every single day. It doesn't matter how many followers you have, you just need an entertaining video. So this is the beauty of TikTok. You don't need a lot of social proof. You don't need a lot of followers. You just need good quality content. But how do you create a TikTok content strategy that produces viral videos consistently? So if you're someone that's already exploring and posting, posting content on TikTok, uh, you know that there are lots of different content categories, creators, and as a brand, that can be confusing to navigate at first. So here are some uh, ideas for posting great content on TikTok. So the first one will be educational content, and this is by far the, mo the most underutilized. Um, so you can explain your brand story, your mission, uh, and just be yourself. So you, as the founder, just can do like a quick one mini video uh, on your iPhone, just a selfie video explaining how you started the brand, what was the idea behind it, what's your vision. People just love seeing that you have a greater mission and a greater humanitarian impact than your own uh, profits. Uh, yeah, as I said, the key is to be yourself. Just produce raw, authentic content that is not overly edited. So uh, the second part would be entertaining content. And uh, yeah, these two types of content can be used interchangeably and uh, your educational content needs to be entertaining as well. But uh, the key to growing a large TikTok following is to create engaging content so people keep coming back and they get your videos shown to them on the For You page. Um, so uh, one way of uh, creating uh, entertaining content and increase your engagement rate sorry is to have a hook on your videos so a hook is the first three seconds of the video and uh, it's meant to to be an, an attention grabber so when people are scrolling mindlessly through tiktok especially now with social media the the attention span of people has decreased drastically so you need something to grab their attention you need something unique so uh, getting followers is not the goal building a community is i said here that uh, the key to growing a large tiktok following is to create engaging content uh but like having a lot of followers won't help to scale your organic sales building uh, having a community of true fans is so the goal with any of your social media is to build a community of 1000 true fans so a true fan is defined as someone that is truly invested in your brand's mission. Is someone that will always buy your products, watch your lives, like your videos. And uh, yeah, they resonate with your uh, vision and your products. So engagement is far more important than followers. And uh, if you have uh, true fans and you have a community, you'll have high engagement rate. And all the content needs to be raw and authentic and not overly edited. As I said, uh, on TikTok, people people like seeing people, you know? Um, unlike Instagram, where maybe a posting like uh, 
content shot on an expensive camera would uh, do better and get better engagement on TikTok, your iPhone is good enough. You know, you don't need anything expensive, any equipment. And uh, yeah, people just like when um, the content is, uh, as I said, authentic. And the uh, volume is key. So experiment with lots of content categories. So we recommend our clients to post free to 10 times a day when starting out, just to figure out what type of content resonates the most with their ideal market. And always recommend to include a hook in your videos, as I said earlier. So in terms of actual content creation, the best way would be to hire an in-house content creator to be the face of your brand. So yes, you can post some videos yourself, but it can be a, like very tedious work. So, uh, you can look at Washington Post. They actually have two uh, in-house content creators, I think. And uh, yeah, they're doing a great job. I think they have uh, over 1 million followers on there. So you can recruit internally. And the chances are that you have people on your team that love TikTok and would be thrilled to make content for your brand. And the advantage of uh, internal recruiting is that, uh, first of all, it's cheaper. And second of all, uh, this People that uh, have already, like, uh, they already have experience with your brand. They know, like, what you're working towards, and uh, yeah, it will be easier for them to to integrate with your whole like systems. Uh, if you don't, uh, that's not a problem. You can find interns. So you can look for younger people that are great content creators and are looking to grow with your company. And if they are passionate about your brand, they will be a great asset to your business. You can also work with influencers. That's another way we, of uh, creating content and diversifying your content ideas uh, and your yeah your content overall. So uh, influencers. So these are people that have a track record of creating quality content. And um, if they have a large following. Of on TikTok, that's because they create engaging content and they figure something out. And uh, yeah, when we work with influencers, uh, we are always surprised by their creativity. Uh, so we typically, we, sorry, we typically use the Creator Marketplace, which is an agency tool that gives us access to thousands of influencers. But you can also scroll for TikTok and uh, find the influencers that way. Um, yeah, just make sure that uh, like they would be a good representation of your brand, and uh, also their like following is uh, matching with your target market. So you can use the influencer video in content for your feed as well as for running ads. So the influencer can actually give you access to their video, which would export all that engagement, and uh, you can run ads with it. And we've seen the best, like uh, the best um, uh, return on ad spend for our ads using this strategy, because the content is already proven to convert, and uh, yeah, as I said, it's very entertaining for for users. So influencer content on TikTok is so powerful because you can leverage the influencer's audience. This is the first thing: is they post on their profile, and at the same time, you get a powerful video or for a relatively low price compared to Instagram. So TikTok is in your platform and uh, uh, the influencers don't get uh, as much like proposals every day to for sponsorships. That's why they are quite underpriced. So you can also, this is another option, you, especially if, if you have a smaller budget. So you can get small creators under 10,000 followers to make a video for you in exchange for your product. So these usually um, are not like full-time uh, TikTok creators. They're just ordinary people that like creating content on TikTok. And they can produce a UGC style video because nobody sells your product better than your customers. So you can get a UGC style video. You can run ads with it. You can post on your uh, profile and you can just get it for just sending them your product. And uh, yeah, depending on your cost of production, uh, as I said, it's very cheap, very cheap. So uh, remember, uh, you can't fail on TikTok. And if you try new things, 
and you post different categories of content, you'll find something that's working and you can scale from there. So the key is to iterate. So see what's working, what's not, make changes from there, scale what's working. And um, yeah, as I said, uh, there is no way to fail on TikTok. And if you follow this framework, believe me, you'll get results. So yeah, this is a high level overview of the TikTok content strategy that we use for our clients to, to increase their organic sales, to build their brand on TikTok. If you'd like to get a more personalized strategy for your brand or to ask me any questions you have related to TikTok, I'd love to jump on a 20 minute call with you. No strings attached. I'm not going to throw a sales offer down your throat. It's just going to be an opportunity for you to get more value. As I said, ask me any questions and uh, for me to get a better understanding of your business and uh, yeah, uh, just show you more uh, personalized uh, strategies. So if you'd be open to that, you can just find my scheduling link or send me a message. So I hope you got value from the video and uh, hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Bye bye.